Hi there, it's Denise Eckert from Balance Me Coaching. And I love coming on here and sharing techniques and practices to help you reduce your stress. And today I've got Pramilia Parham, who's a certified body code and emotion code practitioner. Now she has been studying emotional code energy healing for over 25 years. Welcome. Thank you so much, Denise. This is exciting to be part of your podcast and, um, and your event today. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Um, well, I don't know if anybody cares, but I live on the west coast of Canada on Vancouver Island, and I have been a certified body code um, um, practitioner for almost two years, and I've been a, a certified emotion code practitioner for four years. This is based on the fact that we often have emotions that we're not aware of because they are stuck or trapped in the subconscious. So it's just a beautiful modality. It works on everything. And the reason I was really uh, attracted to it was because it kind of built on all of the education that I had been doing first just for myself. And then when I started my company, so the emotional healing, vibrational healing, balancing your chakras, um, releasing any of those limiting beliefs that are keeping us stuck. And also I have, um, a, I can take people through if, uh, a, a process where they can, in fact, release the old energy of any past lifetimes. So yes, when I was introduced to the emotion code, I was like, oh, this is just a perfect fit. You know, when I was first introduced to it, I was amazed because it's all the things that you've stuffed down over the years. And I know when you're living in stress or if you're living in burnout, those emotions seem to come up and come up. And it's not only you're dealing with yourself, you're dealing with the things that you've stuffed away. It's and so we we're taught to do that. Denise, mm -hmm. we're actually taught to stuff our emotions and not look at them and examine them. And so you're right. Absolutely. What happens then is because our subconscious is so, so powerful and we don't even think about that, right? We think about our conscious brain, but we don't think about our subconscious. And I like to use the analogy of an iceberg. So what's above the water with an iceberg is what's in our conscious brain and what's below the water is, which is what is in the subconscious. And the, it, the subconscious holds all of our memories and all of our emotions. And so oftentimes we can have emotions going on that are running the show for us, but we have no clue about that. And so I like to also quote Dr. Bruce Lipton because he talks about getting those emotions out of the subconscious into the conscious brain. So then we can make a decision about what we want to do, how we want to change our behavior or if it's affecting us physically. So yes, it's very, very powerful. And it works on everything, this, uh, the body code, the emotion code. Now, can you talk a bit, a little bit about how it actually works? Oh, yes, absolutely. I'd love that. Um, so the process that Dr. Bradley Nelson, and I brought the book, I don't know, should I show the book? Sure. <laughs> okay. So here's the book for anybody who's interested in getting the book. Dr. Bradley Nelson, Tony Robbins did the foreword in this one. This is actually Dr. Brad's second book. He created the protocol. And the, because of my training in vibrational and energy healing, I truly believe this is why it works. So there's three components to it. There's the client's uh, subconscious, which as a practitioner, we ask permission to connect to um, so that we can also do this a process through distance healing. That's uh, the beauty of it, either over Zoom or over, I have clients that just want to talk to me over the phone. And then the subconscious is part of uh, universal energy or source energy or whatever you believe in as a higher power. And then the next part is determining what trapped emotions there are. And I have another little prop that um, Dr. Bradley Nelson put together, this emotion code chart. So there's two columns, six rows, and actually, so all total, there's 60 trapped emotions. So we actually, as practitioners, use that chart to determine whether or not, which trapped emotions need to be released. And we use that by muscle testing. So muscle testing, again, our muscles are congruent to who we are. They don't lie about who, who we are. 
people may have seen um, the strong arm test where someone said their name and their arm say, stayed strong. Um, and then they said their name that wasn't their name and their arm went weak. That's why it's called muscle testing because our muscles are true to who we are. And then the third piece is by releasing the trapped emotion, we take a magnet and run it over the governing meridian, which is from here over our crown chakra and down our back. And again, that's connecting with our electromagnetic field, or some people think of it as the aura, it's the same thing. Um, and so by taking that magnet, that actually is, is um, stronger than the, the emotion. So it releases that trapped emotion. So that's the three parts to the process that we use as practitioners. And, and that's truly why I believe that it, it works so well. So can you give us some facts on emotion code then? Absolutely. Um, well, the facts around the emotion code are because of the trapped, Dr. Bradley Nelson calls them trapped. I call them unprocessed negative emotions that could be stuck in the subconscious. But the subconscious is so interesting as well, because as I mentioned earlier, it contains and holds all of our emotions and all of our memories going back even before we were born. And it also represents 90% of your brain function. So that's interesting because we always think that our conscious brain is what's running the show, but it's actually only 10% of, of the conscious mind, whereas the subconscious is 90%, is 90%, so represents 90% of the brain function. So when we realize that, then we can just shift a little bit about understanding why it's so important to find these trapped emotions that are stuck in the subconscious and, and then release them. Um, so the other thing about the, these trapped emotions, emotion code, is that there's different types of trapped emotions. So inherited, for example, you could, inherit it, you could have inherited uh, the trapped emotion of uh, confusion or anger or helplessness or hopelessness or fear. You could, have re you could have received that from your parents, your grandparents, your great grandparents. Um, you would never know that unless you go through the protocol and determine then, is this a trapped emotion I've inherited and where did it come from and let's, and let's release it. There's also another trapped emotion called prenatal, which I find fascinating because what happens is that there was something going on with the mom when the mom was pregnant, um, and, but the baby got the trapped emotion, not necessarily the mom. The mom could have her other trapped emotions, uh, but in, in utero, uh, the baby gets, gets the emotion stuck in their subconscious at that time. And there's another trapped emotion called absorbed, a lot of us are very sensitive people and um, empaths is, is, uh, has become sort of the, the key word these days where people understand that they're sensitive. And so you could absorb other people's uh, energy and also their emotions. Absolutely. The one that um, is really uh, important too is called the heart wall. So what the subconscious does is puts up an invisible wall around your heart, basically to protect the heart. But in the long term, any trapped emotions get stuck in that wall need to be released. Otherwise, people will have issues with um, relationships, all different types of relationships, even success in life. So it's very important, I believe, because I've been working with this for a while. Um, and so far, my clients are very happy with what uh, emotions we find and we re release and and. And it'll work on physical pain, emotional pain, uh, mental pain, any, any, any type of issue that might come up. It is a very powerful practice. I, I, for myself, I'm a hypnotherapist, so I do work with this subconscious as well. But really bringing those emotions to the surface, dealing with them, and in a sense, releasing them really clears our, our whole flow. And what kind of benefits do you see from clients that come to you all stressed out or upset or angry? What kind of benefits do they receive after receiving treatment from you? They usually feel calmer. Right after a session, they will feel, they'll say they feel lighter. Um, they're usually pretty sleepy, so they have to have a nap. And especially if we're releasing anywhere from 10 to 15, 20 
trapped emotions. We have to remember these are balls of negative energy that are in their in their subconscious, but also in in their bodies. So that has a physical effect. Let me give you an example. So I had a client who came to me a while back, and he was having some um, neck issues, painful neck issues. Now he actually ha happens to be a body code. A practitioner, but he had done some work on himself and it just wasn't going away. So when I did some sessions with him, we found there was these trapped emotions of an event that had happened like 20 years ago. And he remembered the event. It was a very traumatic event. He'd lost a job. Uh, but I found trapped emotions. And he said this to me, wow, I never found these trapped emotions. And I'm not saying that I was better than him. It's just that there's layers. And that's another analogy I use as an onion. So there's these layers of onions, uh, like an onion. So he had probably released all the top layers. So by the time I was able to have the sessions with him, I was getting to the layers that really needed to be healed. So that happened. And he was able to, um, the pain went away. So we would need someone with your expertise to do this. There's nothing we can do on our own. There's no do it, do it yourself. Well, interestingly, you, you asked that question because in his book, Dr. Brad actually teaches you how to muscle test. He, he's got all the chart that I just, uh, that I mentioned, the, the emotion code chart. He has that. He has all the definitions of the emotions that are on the chart. So he actually is asking people to work on themselves. And you can, you certainly can uh, work on yourself um, to actually, of course, work on anybody else. You need to be certified by him and, and take his course. Um, I personally have found I can do some things for myself, um, but then if it's, if I have, I had an issue with my left knee and I had like, a painful issue and then I had an issue with my, F, my right SI joint and I just... I found I had more success by hiring somebody else to do it for me. So, you know, and the, and the fellow that I um, had to do work on me, he's been a body code and emotion code practitioner for probably eight years. So he's got lots more experience than I have. And um, it worked. Yeah. Pain's all gone. <laughs> so, yeah. But um, Dr. Brad actually gives his book away to anybody who suffers from PTSD. He's a, he's lives in the States. And so anyone who, um, any soldiers, anybody who's been in the armed forces, he gives his book to them for free because it works very well on PTSD. A lot of PTSD uh, people aren't able to, they don't want to live the trauma um, again, which is, and, that, and with the body code, emotion code, you don't have to. Um, one of the things we always ask is, what what age were you when this trapped emotion got stuck in your subconscious because it might not just be in the last few years and so oftentimes it could be something traumatic that happened when they were a child or a teenager and they might not remember consciously what it was which do it doesn't matter we can just release it anyway and then they're healthier well it's just releasing that whole getting that flow going again mm -hmm. properly. Yeah, moving the energy, exactly. And yeah. we don't think about that as individual people. We don't think about our bodies being energy, but we really are. We're just vibration, we're energy, and um, any emotions that we have that are, that are getting stuck um, need to be released in order for that energy, as you said, for that energy to flow. Yeah. Okay, we're going to wrap it up. Is there anything else you'd love to share with the audience? I just wanted to share one more um, example, a client example, okay. if I could. Yeah. Um, so I, I have, I work with some, um, some clients who are in indigenous and this one particular client that I want to mention uh, was, she's in her sixties now. Uh, she was sent to residential school. And so when she first came to me, you know, the emotions like terror and panic and uh, those kinds of emotions we released. But the story, and this is her story, she tells the story, is she, uh, we had done another session where uh, I always work with the chakras as well. So we had released some trapped emotions, and I can't remember what they were exactly, but we released them out of her th throat chakra so that she could start to speak her truth. And she had been being asked to tell her story, but it, it still was too painful to actually share with a lot of people. So she was in a meeting where one of her supervisors was leaving and in her, 
her language, they have this beautiful song that they sing saying thank you. And this is her telling me the story. She said, I don't know where this came from. I just stood up at the end of the meeting and in my language, I started singing the song. And, you know, I got, I got goosebumps because I was like, well, you know, remember we, we cleared your throat chakra. And she's like, but I don't know my language that well. <laughs> but she was able to stand up and there was some younger indigenous people that were also at this meeting who came up and talked to her afterwards and then wanted, you know, wanted to understand her story and understand exactly what had happened to her and thanked her for what this beautiful song was that, that she's, that she's saying for this, this supervisor. So wow, <laughs> that is a very powerful story. I love to yeah. tell that one. <laughs> Now, I just want to bring up that you've, you're organizing a global healing institute. Can you talk about that for a little bit? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. I definitely believe we're it's time. I think after being a pandemic for a year and a half, people are starting to realize that they do have responsibility or they can take responsibility for their health. And so uh, my passion is to create this virtual global healing institute so there will be practitioners available like yourself that will be available for people to be well I really believe we need to switch our society to a wellness society not a, a sickness or an illness society so we need to think wellness and let's stay well let's not wait till we get sick and so I now have um People I've talked to all over the world, India, Australia, New Zealand, all across Canada and the United States. And so my mission and my uh, commitment is that um, we're going to launch it this fall and I'm gradually going to be bringing practitioners. So there's be two components. One will be practitioners available for clients. And then the other part is education and the education piece, whatever is on the website will all be for will all be a complimentary free, nobody will have to pay for that. Uh, because that's the part that I really feel we, we need in the world to be educated about how we can be well and how we can stay well before we have to, before we get ill. I love that being proactive. You know, yes, proactive so wellness. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time, Pramelia. Well, it thank you, Denise. <laughs> so much great information. And uh, Yes, well, thank you for listening. All right, bye for now. <laughs> Just a final note, if you're struggling with burnout or chronic stress, I have free resources such as a podcast, Facebook support group, my blog. To get these free resources, please visit my website at www.balancelittle-me.ca. Now, this is Denise Eckert signing off and contact me if you're looking to create a happier, more balanced lifestyle today.